Shade is a new epic brawler inside of Brawl Star, but he has abilities that can make him a legendary. But we do not talk about that. So first of all, let's just look at the unlock animation. It looks really weird with the charm that he has. This is going to be the next brawler that everybody swaps their hate campaigns to. It was Kenji, and now it's going to be Shade. There's always one of these brawlers per update, and I don't think it's going to be Juju. And let's max him out on the dev build real quick. So Shade is one of the only, if not the only, brawler to have two passive traits right here. He can go over water, and he also charges his super by staying close to enemy brawlers, similar to Lily, Buzz, and a lot of other brawlers at this point. I thought his super was going to be more like Edgar's, but it's actually not. He has 7,000 health, a very fast movement speed, obviously, because he's an assassin. He does 1,600 damage when you're not hitting the center of your attack, but when you do hit the center, you do 3,200 damage. His attack has a short delay on it. It has a short range, but he has very fast reload speed. And of course, his super lets him go through walls. So let's try him out real quick without buying any star powers or gadgets. Completely base kit. First thing I want to look at is the reticle. It's not often that we get reticle that are this complex and I'm saying that like it's the craziest thing in the world but it's not but it is different than most brawlers so as expected he does have a pretty big delay between his attacks because he has to like clap his sleeves together I'd say this is slower than fangs but probably the same speed as like BB's attack if not like the exact same speed as BB it feels really similar so think of it like a BB attack that has a crit at the center that's basically the biggest difference and maybe it's a little bit smaller but there's potential for you to get even more damage with it I love that they added the number with the critical hit as well but yeah that is it for his main attack but his super is where it gets crazy he gets to go through walls it's a pretty long timer probably comparable to leon with his mythic gear on like, that's a good six seconds at least and for the entire duration you just get to go straight through walls so you could obviously dodge any brawler who is unable to shoot through walls or over walls really easily you just have to you don't even have to go through the wall you could hit him straight through it because his attack goes through walls anyways but if you're in the wall you could get like closer to them and then get the attack off while being completely safe unable to take any damage this ability is going to break the game it just depends on the matchup because certain brawlers could just stay away from him while he's doing this but he does become pretty fast and he can recycle his super pretty fast as well it takes a few hits though it takes more than a full ammo bar to refresh his super oh my god the speed stacks is this a glitch <laughs> whoa dude if that's not a glitch that's insane okay i'm gonna try it out now i want to see how much speed i can get look at this all right another one yo let's keep it going bro look at how fast i am <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna break the game this is gonna break the entire game bro i'm going so fast all right let's see how fast we can get before it breaks the game dude the fact that i still have control of my brawler right now is insane i want to see if i can go to the bottom of the map and come back let's go bottom of the map going back dude this is insane <laughs> this is the fastest any brawler has ever been without breaking the game obviously you're not gonna get this fast in an actual game but like bro it looks ridiculous unless you somehow manage to cycle your super over and over again without killing the entire enemy team before the duration ends we might see some clips with this if they don't remove it though oh i'm actually bugging the game out now like i could just whip around like look at this i'm trying to spin and it's all messed up oh i got an error Bruh. okay now that we're done having fun his first gadget is called the long arms his next main attack has 50 percent longer range this is going to be pretty useful for when you're behind a wall and you want to hit somebody while being safe behind the wall so for example if we go right here we try to hit him we don't but if we have this on it becomes huge and then we get to hit him and just in case you want a better representation here's me just standing here doing nothing and here's the range after pretty big it's the exact size of his circle actually this is mostly going to be used for kill confirms, I would assume. You just have to make sure that you hit him right in the center, otherwise you might waste it. 50% is a very big difference. I'm curious how easy it would be to like hit it while you're moving. Like, yeah, you'd have to really predict where they're going to go in order to get value out of that, but definitely not a bad gadget with the type of attack that he has. And the fact that I can go this fast is still crazy, man. <laughs> Shade's other gadget is called Jump Scare. Shade spooks nearby enemies, slowing them down for four seconds. Four seconds is crazy. Juju also has a four second slow, so they might need to nerf Juju's slow and this slow but the question is how close do they have to be like if i'm right here does it slow them no it does not so they have to be pretty close it looks like an m's push but it's not so you just do it like that and then they're slowed for four entire seconds i think the strategy here would be to use your super slow them and then you kind of keep them around a wall because they're slowed and abuse the ability of your super for how broken it is Bruh. shade's first star power is called spooky speedster hitting opponents with the center of shade's main attack gives a short movement speed boost so this one really rewards you for if you're a good player so if i don't hit the center then i don't get anything but if i'm a gamer and i hit the center then i get uh it doesn't seem to be that crazy it's for like what a second that you get a movement speed boost dude after i was so fast with a super everything else feels slow i can't even tell how much it is 
Like, it does not feel that crazy, but it is a consistent movement speed boost. So, I mean, I couldn't see it being a horrible thing, but it doesn't seem like I'm going crazy fast. It might be like 10% or something. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a little bit better than that. Yeah, that's about it. Let's see what the other one is. The other star power is called Hardened Hoodie. Shade gets a 30% damage reduction while in his super form. That's pretty good, actually. It doesn't say what percentage movement speed you get, but again, it doesn't seem like much. So this one might actually be better. All right, let's see. Yep, you just get a normal shield. It lasts a long time, of course because his super lasts a while so that's a good shield it's only 30 percent, but it's like double the length of a rosa super i'm gonna be honest they might even have to nerf this one like this is a really good shield especially because you can go through walls in the mix of it like this character is going to be insane i hope people realize this i don't even need to hope because people are obviously going to realize this i'm not sure what they're gonna have to do to nerf this guy but he's a little bit crazy <laughs> maybe too crazy it's another assassin that hard counters a lot of brawlers in this game but I really like his playstyle. I think he's really fun. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are definitely going to absolutely dogpile on this brawler and hate him until the end of time, until he gets nerfed to oblivion. There's just no way that they can keep this mechanic in the game. I mean, I love it though. It's so fun. I'm breaking my game. Like this is the most wild thing I've seen in the dev build. I really hope they do keep this because it's not like we're going to get this ever in a real game. Okay, I'm going to take what I think is going to be his general best build into a training match. I'm taking jump scare, the one that slows people because four seconds is ridiculous and 30 percent shield for like six seconds is also wild you could really change the gears out like gadget gear could be good or damage but other than that i think speed should be good as long as there is grass on the map and he's an assassin so of course he would use that rollers like this always end up being a little bit more squishy than i expect them to be so we'll see about this i'm gonna try and slow her real quick that did not work oh don't kill me yeah i'm a pretty squishy guy so brawlers like el primo could bully me a little bit but then i go in the wall and there's literally nothing he can do about it so i mean gg go next like you're trash rosa i need you to stay here for like two more seconds thank you and now i go in and i kill you i slow you for four seconds and you all just lose yeah this whole going through the wall thing is pretty bonkers bro uh yellow <laughs> die all right let's go in for the bow he can't do nothing he can't do nothing when i'm in the wall and then he gets slowed and then he's dead i forgot that he can go over water too it's the first assassin type brawler that does not get countered by the brawlers who can go on water yo give me that super and now i went the wrong way but you get slowed i think potentially i don't even know but you're dead. Yeah, this guy's gonna be broken. There's one thing I really wanna try with the sprawler, and if it works, it'll be the most broken thing in this entire game. And yes, I just changed my name to Code Nubs, so use Code Nubs. But this guy can go through walls, right? And he could probably pick up the brawl ball. So what if he could just take it through walls? We will see. First, I actually have to get a super, so I'm just gonna chuck the ball away and clap some cheeks, I'm dead. The thing I'm most glad about is that you can't just mash auto him and hope that it'll do better for you, kind of like Edgar, because that's all he has to do it's just mash auto aim with this guy you kind of have to aim even though he is a melee brawler i like that all right let's try this though nope it doesn't work you cannot take it through a wall good fantastic news that would have been the most broken thing in this history okay i'm actually getting the big movement speed right now in the real game so yeah i kind of hope that they keep that mechanic i'm glad they thought about the ball though would have been very tragic if he could just walk it through every single map you can also use this super as more of a little dash than actually going through walls too. My guy has a decent amount of utility in his kit, but he'll definitely get bullied by brawlers who can cancel his attacks or people who can break walls because then, you know, his ability is just uh, rendered a little bit useless, but he's fast, very speedy, and he can dribble the ball pretty well. Oh, boink. <laughs> yep, you can't kill me, buddy. You can't kill me. You can't kill me either. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, let me back in. Yes, I'm back, boys. Uh oh yeah this wall mechanic is definitely going to be broken but uh, yeah that is shade let me know what you think in the comment section and this is the final sneak peek so let me know your thoughts on everything once you get to play it all subscribe for angel max follow me on twitter i will pick the winners there and i will see you later